Hiya, and welcome to Tax TV. It's Neil. Uh, obviously, no game uh, this weekend, with it being Christmas and that, and the Boxing Day fixture also postponed, so it's going to be Blackburn Rovers uh, the 29th. So, just a bit of a recap and a uh, you know, of the stuff that's been happening this week, very little to be fair. A few bits in news with players, what's been uh, going more rumoured and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll start off with Collie Woodrow. Uh, again, it's been strongly linked with West Brom and, you know, depending what media you want to be looking at. Being in advanced talks with West Brom. Um, check back what you will. Different media outlets are obviously going to report on it differently. But apparently Ishmael is very keen to get him uh, to West Brom. I know West Brom has also been linked with Daryl DK. Uh, Orlando City have said that they're willing to let uh, DK go on a permanent or loan again. So whether that comes off and he links up with him for their push, I don't know. Uh, Callum Styles been linked with Celtic. Um, don't know if that's just paper talk or whether there is some possible uh, truth in that. Uh, but later on uh, in week, I think on Monday or Tuesday, Callum Styles has also been linked with West Brom. I uh, don't know whether for that just why it putting two together by a certain newspaper and uh, coming up with five or whether it is going to be a double swoop. We've seen it before with Uran and uh, James Bree when we went to West, uh, Aston Villa. So could the same happen to Woodrow and Styles going to West Brom? Again, Ishmael knows about them both, having worked with him previously. So that could be one to keep an eye on. Um, January coming up in next week or so. So, be interesting, be interesting. Um, leave your comments and that below. Uh, would you, I know there have been a bit of a poll and people going, yeah, take money for him like nine, invest it or keep him. It is what it is. It depends what they want to do. Another player that possibly could be going is Patrick Schmidt. As you know, he's on loan uh, to his other parent club, but, uh, Asberg. He's been linked with TSV Hartberg. Rumours were circulating about it going to be like 400 euro, which probably comes to about, I don't know, 350,000 pound ish. Giotek, uh, conversion rate, current rate, I don't know. But he hasn't really done out at Barnsley and he's been out on loan. So that would be a good move, I think, get to some cash back and also free wage up situation. Also, it's been documented that Dominic Fries has gone. Um, he, you know, by mutual consent, he was one of the players that, if you saw uh, last week, I think it was when I put it out, uh, he was one of the four players that were going to be out of contract to end uh, this season. So, um, would he have possibly gone in January? I don't know, but he's gone by mutual consent. Wants to play football nearer to you know, his own land with his family and that, so he can appreciate that. I want to thank Dominic for his time when he's been at Barnsley. He gave his all, you know, he gave, you know, he's always, he always tried and uh, did what he, you know, what he could. Um, but we, we move on, yeah, we move on. Again, we, we him being uh, released by mutual consent, it's freed wage situation up again. So with uh, Freezer gone, uh, Schmidt possibly going uh, Woodrow again and you know things like that we need to be looking at that uh, been a player what's also been linked as well uh, uh, Matt Matt, either Matt J or Matty J uh, depending on what me, media outlet you look at is a Exeter City striker uh, I think this season is uh, the seven look at starts this season 20 Two matches, 23 matches, 22, uh, 12 goals. That's in Football League, Football League Trophy in the AFL Cup. Um, 25 year old is also been linked with Millwall. Isla rated at Exeter. Um, don't know what fee you'd be looking at for someone like that, but I think it goes to prove that Barnes are looking at you know attacking options. I know players come out in uh, some at press earlier on this week saying that he's wanted to re rejig, reshet things up a bit like um 
like I say, <laughs> we need in wingers, that creativeness is is defence is more or less solid enough. It's like that creative side in it. So that's all what's really happened, uh, you know, regarding rumours or possible zins or arts and stuff like that. And like I say, there's no match previews or like that uh, due to the Stoke game being called off with uh, COVID and that, like in Stoke City camp. So it was a shame because of Boxing Day fixture and own game. Um, you know, we're wanting points, aren't we? So it looks like it's going to be a rearranged fixture. And that'll be probably under the lights again, at, uh, you know, a night time kind of thing. So that's all uh, that uh, situation. Uh, so like I say, it's Christmas. I'm hoping you've all got sorted out. You've all, you know, got your things together and uh, you're ready for it. You're ready for a break and all the all negative stuff in news and about what's going off at the minute. I think we're all ready for a break and switch off from news and spend time with his family and, you know, family, friends, loved ones. Um, just hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. Uh, like I say, it's time for family and a get together and uh, enjoy. I hope that, you know, break off for work. Unfortunately, there's no football. But yeah, I just want to wish you all a, a very Merry Christmas. Fantastic that you've all uh, still stay with Tax TV and appreciate everyone you what's uh, contributing, commenting, sharing, liking, thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. We're open to do some lives and that, but obviously with commitments and that what's been going on with other people's lifestyles and trying to find some attack. But we will begin some attack before end of the year. And get together, uh, get in contact with Luke and see if he's available for 100 days next week to have a bit of a, a live a Q&A session, a bit of fun, a bit of banter. Uh, we're all we're all here wanting to, you know, waiting for football to start again, aren't we? Uh, all being well, it's going to be not like in Wales where it's going to be behind closed doors and limited to stuff, but who knows? So we'll try and bring you content on that. So... Yeah, this will be my last one before Christmas, my, my last video before Christmas. So I want to take time out, raise your drinks and glasses wherever you are. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Oh, you get what you want. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Spend it with your family and loved ones. Merry Christmas. You Reds. <laughs>